What happened in the second half of the uh, of the noughties as well? Boom. The mining boom, excellent. What did the mining boom result in? Which phase of the mining boom were we in? There's three phases of the mining boom. Who knows what the three phases are? Is this something new we need to learn? Ah, okay. Three phases of the mining boom. There were three phases. It was not just one. So, mining boom phases. Let's write this down. Mining boom phases. Phase one. High prices. Phase one was high prices. Where did the terms of trade, where did the, uh, let's look at this one, RBA index of commodity prices. When did prices start to increase? 2004. Four, five, around there. You saw a big increase in prices. So phase one, prices start to increase. What happens when your prices increase as a producer? Your prices start to increase, what do you do in response? Produce more. You produce more. How do you produce more? You use more resources. You increase the factors of production. You increase your factors of production. If you are, say, a, a law firm, you hire more people because your main factor of production is labor. Is labor the main factor of production for mining? No. No, it's capital. So, in response, you had a big increase in business investment. When did business investment start to pick up? This is the long-term trend. This is just a temporary downturn. Keep that in mind. This is a long-term trend. Around the same time, you had a pick up in business investment all the way up to recently. Okay, so you had a big increase in business investment. So, phase two of the mining boom is high investment. High investment. You had a large amount of increased investment. That was phase two. What happens after you put all that investment in? You keep producing the same amount, you keep selling the same amount, or something else? You produce more. Yeah, you produce more. Why? Because you can produce more. more money. You can. There's a specific term I'm looking for. Start with C, you have more what? Capacity. More capacity. So increased capital gives you additional capacity. And that additional capacity means you have extra production. And so number three, the third phase, you have High production. High production. If you look at a supply and demand curve, this is exactly what's happening when the price mechanism comes into play. Prices go up. What do the suppliers want to do? They want to, they want to supply more because the price is higher. In order to do it, they need this step in the middle. High investment. They need high investment in order to achieve that high production. And they're the three phases of the mining movement. We have ended this one. The mining investment boom is over. There it is. You can see it right here. It is over. It has peaked. We're now entering high production. We're now entering high production. And we've ended the high prices. Let's go back and have a look. High prices also, they're over. They, they've gone up, they've peaked, they're now falling. We are now entering a phase of moderate prices and higher production. That's the phase of the mining boom that we're in.